Hi guys, uh, sorry I haven't been many videos, we've been busy doing workshop and stuff. Um, Just trying to get it ready for when we can actually do car stuff. Yeah, but today we have a video, um, Aaron's polo has got a bit of a hunting, so we're going to see if we can fix that today. Um, we'll show you a clip of it, actually I'll start it up. Yeah, start it up and have a listen. Just hunts, like a, a vac leak or something, so we're going to solve that. We reckon it's a vac leak. Uh, it also uses a bit of fuel. I'm using quite a lot of fuel. Yeah, yeah it runs quite rich. Um, it smells fuelly as well. When you, you've done a long journey on the motorway and you turn it off, yeah. it smells really fuelly. So it's fuelly, runs rough. Yeah, either that or it could be the carb flange. They're quite common on these. They perish, they're made of rubber. They get hot, cold, hot, cold. Um, you know, and then fuel mixes with them, um, rubber and fuel doesn't really go, does it? So yeah, we use um, like either WD-40 or Easy Start's the best. Anything flammable which you can spray around the carb area. Um, I usually find somewhere if you spray it and it revs up, then you know there's going to be a leak somewhere. It's sucking in what you're spraying. So if it revs up, then we'll know it's that area. If it doesn't, then It'd be something else we've got to look at, either timing or something, but we'll start with the easy start and uh, have a look see if we can find a leak. Yeah, so to start with, we're going to take the uh, all the uh, air box off so we can get to the um, carb unit. Last time we looked, this was actually quite oily. Yeah, it's quite oily in there. So you can see it all on the bottom of the air filter. Yeah, it looks like the breather's kicking it up, isn't it? It's coming from there, isn't it? That's oil. Yeah, there. that is the breather. Oh, yeah. Kicking up a lot. Might be too much oil in the engine. Just over maximum, you know. It might kick it up, you see. So, yeah, we'll take this off. Um, and then we can see all the lines. Uh, and then we'll get spray on them and uh, we'll see if it stops. Just uh, three 10 mils to take this off. You just don't want to drop anything down. There. Yeah, don't try not to drop them down in the car because it is a nightmare. Especially if the... You'll have to fish them out. Yeah, you want to send these around your engine. The butterfly, I mean, is closed, but you know, you've still got to fish it out. That and the breather. I've replaced the breather. I put a, uh, like New a plastic on. tube on just because um, my old one cracked essentially. And what's that breather there? There we are. I'm going to see that inside that tube's quite oily. And there's the carb on the 1.3 engine. Are they the same on the 1.1 one, one litres? 1 and a 1.3? Uh, yeah, it's the manifold, I think that's different. The manifold? I think, don't put me to that, I don't really know. I think it's the manifolds that are different. Oh, the phone. 4 out of the... Uh, that attaches the carb to the... Um, Slams. Yep. There's 4 bolts. The 10, 10 again. Yeah, just that, that's a 10 mil. Oh, 10 mil, yeah. I've got little washes, but the washes are stuck on. So you won't lose them. There we are. And that should just, that's it, move out of the way. And that leaves us our uh, car flange, which needs replacing. You can see the sort of corners are very rusty on the bolts, and it's probably split. Split all down the sides. And it looks like the right one, yep. if you hold it next to it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So always look at your part numbers because uh, on eBay when I bought that one, I basically got in, went into the description and there was a part number and the part number basically was the exact same that, um, was it Autodoc? Yeah, I found the part number on Autodoc. Yeah, you can find the part numbers from pretty much everything on Autodoc, so. So if Autodoc doesn't have it or you want to look somewhere else so you can get it quicker, you click on the part on Autodoc and then it'll tell you the OEM part number and then you can just put that into like your car parts or um, eBay or anything like that. It's so just a neat way of part. finding things that you know you wouldn't necessarily know what it is. What to look for is that fuel engine. In the face, or Could be the problem there. Can't quite tell. So just pulled the old flange off and uh, James is just putting the new one back on. And uh, we also put some of this stuff on it. It's sort of like um, like liquid sealant almost. Quite, yeah, like ga liquid gasket or something like that. Um, hopefully that's just going to seal up any sort of air leaks that, that might occur. But uh, we'll see if this fixes the problem. Hold that. Yeah. So just uh, put the new flange on and uh, we're going to try start it up, see if it sounds different, see if it's not hunting anymore. So yeah, hit it. Okay. Yeah, all good. It's not like, you know, in the first clip, we'll, we'll see the comparison, we'll put the two clips next to each other so then we can see, but 